Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Happy Zazzling. Um, one of my viewers asked me a question and they wanted to know if I could make a video on how to make photo collages since um, Zazzle now wants us to make photo collages for all of our collection photos, the main photo of our collection. Um, so I'm going to try to teach you guys that on Canva. So I'm going to use the free Canva so those of you who don't have Canva Pro can still do it this way. Okay, so I'm um, signed into your account on Canva and right here put in free collage. And then all these collages are going to come up that you can use. So you'll want to use a square one. And make sure you set the size to 1480 by 1480. I forgot to do that. It's an important step. Otherwise, it's not big enough to upload on a Zazzle. So I'm going to go right here. I'm just going to pick the first one. Then I'm going to click right here and customize this template. And this is going to come up. So first we're going to make a fo photo uh, collection cover photo and then next we're going to make a video. So first we'll work on the photo. So we got this photo here, right? We're going to go back over to Zazzle and find the collection that you want to do this for. I'm going to do beautiful ocean waves and sea glass wedding collection. So down here is all the products I've made for this collection right here. So I'm going to download 12. I'm going to download some of these photos. So, so let's go here to view on Zazzle. And I'm going to quickly download a bunch of these photos from... And now, sorry, I don't have cover photos made for this collection yet. Um, I was going to add that into this video and then I thought I was just going to make it too long if I did that. So I'm just going to download some of the photos from each product. And there is 12, there are six picture slots um, on this video, but I'm going to do two pages for the video. So I'm going to want 12 photos. You'll understand why in a minute. I know this part takes forever, so I'll just speed through it. I'll just fast forward through it right here. Okay, so now we got a bunch of pictures downloaded, right? So we're going to go back over here to Canva. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here on the left hand side to uploads and then upload all those pictures we just downloaded. So go ahead and upload all those pictures. Okay, so all the pictures will all upload down here on the left hand bottom side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start taking some of these pictures and pick for this first cover photo picture pick your favorite six like what you think people might click on and you just drag them over here on the right hand side and drop them on the picture slot and it will fit them in for you and now think of like what people will want like they usually want the save the date the RSVP card you know just think of what the customer would like to see on this. Okay, so now I've dragged these pictures into here, right? So I'm going to go down here to the text and click on it, and I'm going to put in the name of this album, which was I'm just going to shorten it to Ocean Waves and see glass wedding suites 
and up here you can make the text bigger or smaller. I think I'm going to take out sweet just because it's so long. Okay, so then, you know, size that to how you want it. All right, now if you want to, you can change any of the elements. Like I kind of like this brown background because it looks like sand for, you know, an ocean theme. And these corners are pretty cute too. But I want to add some elements. So I'm going to go up here at the left-hand side to elements. And then you can pick out different elements. So I'm going to add... I'm just going to put in teal. And if it has this little yellow mark, it's for pro people, so you got to search for the, the free elements. So I'm going to click on See All, and then I'm just going to look for any elements that are free and try different things out. Okay, I forgot to hit graphics. I was actually looking for graphics. So, okay, so now, so this little guy right here is free because it doesn't have the little yellow mark, so I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to add some color to this. I'm going to do the same on the top. And you can look for like glitter or sparkles. You know, you can search for whatever you're looking for. Okay, so anyway, you can you can add whatever you want. You can add in some more stuff if you want to. Um, I'm going to leave this photo like this. And then I'm just going to click here and go to Share. And then click on Download. And Download again. And then that's going to download to my computer. So once that's downloaded, you can go back over to your collection. Right here where it says media, you can click on edit and then upload that collage you just made. And then move that over so that this is the main photo here. And then and see these collages down here? These are all the products you made, and when you make enough of all the different types of products, it'll automatically fill these in. So anyway, back to this. So now this is going to be your main photo. So you just click off a of Media Manager, and that is now your main photo. So now we're going to make a video real fast. So we're going to go back over here, and we're going to go right here to duplicate page and click on that. So real quick, we're going to delete the products that we already put in there, these images. Just delete those real quick. And this is why you needed to download 12 images. Because now we're going to upload the ones we didn't use here. So go back over to your uploads. And then you can upload whatever you didn't use in the first one you can use here. And it's okay if some get repeated. It's not that big of a deal.
Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do here, I'm going to go back to elements here, and then I'm going to put in water. I'm going to click on videos. And it's going to show me some videos here. And I am going to, wait, is that a free one? No, that's a pro one. So you got to look for the ones that are free if you're not on the pro. Click on it and it will go over your picture and then spread it out. And then click on position and move to back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete these elements that I don't want anymore. I thought the turtle would be cool, but you can't even see it, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to keep on looking for water. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to expand it. And then I'm going to click on Position and Two Back. Of course, I probably should have deleted all these elements right from the beginning before I duplicated it, but I'm just learning this too, so be patient with me. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on this and expand it and then position it to the back. So now, oh wait, one more thing is the time. So if you click on it, you can go right here and change the time. So like if you only want it to be, let's do three seconds. And then the same with down here. Click on it and then add the time, however long you want. Okay. So now it should be ready. So you can go up here and click play. Okay, one more thing you can do is you can animate things. You can click on the pictures and, you know, go down here and, and click animate. So I'm going to click on all the pictures and add a fade. And you can click on, you know, on enter and on exit or whatever. I'm just going to add it to all of them. Then let's see if you can animate so you can go down here you know and click animate on all these two I'm just gonna leave it though okay let's see how it looks so this is what the video will look like so then you just go here to download and you click on download And it'll show you right here as it downloads. Okay, so once it's downloaded, you go back over to your collection, click on media again, then just go to add media, and then upload your video. And Usually you have to do it a couple times. I don't know why. It's just a glitch on Zazzle right now. So once it starts uploading, it'll just take like a minute to upload. 
and then you just click on it and it's going to show up here and then you can move it to whatever position you want. So then you just click off a of media manager and then what happens is so you go to one of your products and this is what the customer is going to see. If they scroll down here, they're going to see this, shop this wedding suite. And it's going to show the picture you just made. They can go right here and they can click on your video and your video is going to play. And then they can see other products you've made and they can click on um, show more products. So if they click on stickers, you know, it'll go to the stickers you made. Invitations. It'll go to your invitation. So that's it. So I hope that helped you guys learn how to make collection photo collages on Canva using free Canva and um, videos on Canva. So leave your comments below. And again, when you hear the funky noises in the background, that's my parrot. He's always talking when I start to talk. All right, guys, you guys have a great day. Happy Zazzling to you. Bye-bye.